UFC Heavyweight Showdown. has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one and step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg, and if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is right over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 201 pounds. Fighting out of Kingston, Jamaica, Diesel. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Lead round and pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Well, really do 
using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Forget the turtle in that kick. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing upside of his head over and over again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to call this one? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Big head kick. Big head kick land. Checks that leg kick. Nice leg kick. His right punch is good. There, DC, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Winded up on the right there to no avail. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. going to be kick heavy tonight and that is certainly a step in the right direction he is landing that strike very effective with it well you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence but a big knockdown in round one likely the source of that confidence when everything is going great you tend to feel like you could walk through a wall he doesn't need to walk through a wall he needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots liver kick all right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Immediately gets the underhook. Boy, Thai Plum. Big body kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Not there. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice in size. This guy today is looking at focus benches in his opponent. Big kick land. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Ooh, head kick 
lands, he's hurt. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Big kick lands. Misses again with a right punch. That strike blocked by Lee. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Got clip with the right hand. Oh! All right, that's the end of round number two. So what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landing those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different, or this fight is not going to last much longer. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, and he caught the kick. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Keep going again. Keep going again. Back and forth we go. Beautiful punch. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. What a performance. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 32 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout Diesel. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. He's going to be smiling for a really long time when you get a knockout.